Hello everyone, welcome to the session. So in this particular video, we will talk about another interview question which is based on a heap data structure that we have covered up. Okay, this is again a very vastly asked interview based question. I hope that maximum students uh, also have encountered this problem uh, for the first time in an interview. And if those who are who have not encountered yet might encounter in, in your upcoming videos or in, in your upcoming interviews, right? So let's get started. First of all, we will try to understand the problem statement. Afterwards, we will try to see the logical understanding of the same that how we can approach towards this problem. And then after that, I will do the live code implementation for the same. Fine. So the question says that you have to find out the k closest points to the origin. For example, here we will be having a two dimension if I will try to create here. It's an x axis, right? It's something which we can say is a x axis. And this is something which can we can say is a y axis. This is the origin, right? Now, if I will try to plot the points, so obviously positive one, positive two, positive three, something like this will be here. Here it will be negative 1, we all know, right? Negative 2, this is how things are there. And similarly, here it is positive x-axis, 1, 2, 3. And this is negative x-axis, minus 1, minus 2, and so on. So, for example, these are the points. I am just taking a random example, like 3, 3. So, this point will certainly lie over here, right? Then we will be having 5, minus 1. So, suppose here it will be 4, it will be 5. So can I say that 5 comma minus 1 will lie maybe here, right? And then I'm, I will be having minus 2 comma 4. So when I'm saying minus 2, so 4 is suppose here. So minus 2 is here. So minus 2 comma 4 will for sure lie over here. So this is a kind of a space which is given to you where you will be having the points. Obviously, the first point is referring x and the second point is referring y in the points dimension. That's perfectly fine, I hope. Now, here if you will try to observe, what is origin? Origin is nothing but, we all know that origin whenever we are saying it is nothing but 0, 0. Means this is the point which I can say is the origin, right? Now, by taking a distance measure, they have clearly specified that you can take a distance measure which is something equals to Euclidean distance. I hope everyone knows what's, an what's the Euclidean distance. So those who are not aware, let me tell you. So they are saying that you can take a Euclidean distance as the distance measure. So Euclidean distance formula says that if there is some point P1, whose dimensions are x1, y1 and then there is some point which is p2 whose dimensions are x2, y2. So according to Euclidean distance, the distance will be equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is the Euclidean distance formula to measure the distance between the two points. Now, one point will always be in this particular question for you is the origin. So if one point is origin, uh, maybe consider that P1 will always be origin. So it will be always 0, 0 in your question, right? This is the standard formula. This is something which I am saying is the standard formula. Now for our question, what they are saying is that we have to measure from the origin. It means that one point will always be 0, 0. So at that point of time, consider the value of x1 and the y1 to be 0. So our formula will become, you can say square root of x2 square plus y2 square. So whatsoever be the points you have, you can do the squaring of that, addition of that and square root of that. Now, whichsoever be the minimum you will be able to get. So what we need to do here is that in a way, I am now talking about the intuition. So if you will observe according to this question, we need to find out first of all the distances of this, this, this with respect to the origin. We will try to store those distances in 
can we use min heap here so see whenever we are talking about minima or maxima you can always think of this kind of a data structure because min heap is famous for finding minimum element max heap is famous for finding maximum elements right so what i can do is that i will try to store i will try to create one min heap which basically contains two things one is the distance of each and every point from the origin followed by its corresponding points why i am storing this corresponding points because as an final output if you will observe you want points you don't want the distance to be printed you want the points to be printed so what you can do is that you can create a min heap which contains both of these things at zeroth index you can store the distance at first index you can store the points now when you will create one min heap according to this particular kind of a structure which is in the form of a list you will push the elements uh, having distance and the points what you can do after creation of that you can start deleting the elements from the min heap means you will apply the pop operation heap pop operation until how many number of times until k times so when you will apply the delete operation until k times you will get the top k minimum distances very easy right top k minimum distances you will be able to get very easily and for those top k minimum distances you can fetch the list corresponding to the first index so this is zero this is first so you can simply print only the points here and that is what in your question you want to do that is what you want to do in your question so this is the kind of a approach that we will follow in our implementation part as well i hope that the approach is pretty much clear to everyone now how we can do the implementation it's very simple if if the approach is clear implementation wise everything is very easy let me try to again open the jupyter notebook so this is what we want to find out the k closest points here right we want to find out the k closest points let me rename it so what i can do here is that let me first of all write the driver code so inside the driver code if you will see what are the points that we have first of all i need to write that particular thing so let me go back i will take the same points 3 comma 3 3 comma 3 and then we will be having 5 comma minus 1 Five comma minus one, and uh, then we will be having the third point as minus two comma four. Now here, if you will observe, one thing that we didn't discuss is the output. What is the two? Now here, if suppose in our question we are passing the value of k as two, and these these are the points that we have. What is the two nearest topmost nearest points? We can clearly see, right? When we are talking about three comma three, this is the point which is the nearest one to the origin. and the second one is when we are talking as minus 2 comma 4 so if you not using visualization you can simply find out the euclidean distance using the formula which i have shared with you you will observe that these two are the nearest point so this is the expected output that is expected from you order can be varied but these two points should be the output that we should get right if our logic is correct let's get let's get started now so here if you will see k is equals to 2 that we are displaying so points is equals to these are the points that we have now whatever be the result we will be able to get i am storing in variable top so k closest k closest points we want to display or you can simply write k closest as well here you can mention the arguments as points and the k that we want to uh uh have the, which is entered by the user now what we can print is that we can say that uh k k closest points k closest points to the origin r so this statement it's you can print if you want 
and here you can display the result whatever you are getting so this is something which i can say is the function calling that we are doing here now obviously when we are creating a min heap we need again the heap pq function so what you can do is that from heap pq complete package you can import the functions which we required which is heap push and the heap pop these are the two functions mainly that i required to do the implementation now one more thing which i want is the math function math library i want to import because i want to the square root to find out the euclidean distance okay that's completely fine now i think it is the right time to move ahead towards the function definition function definition now here what i can do is that i can define the function named as k closest i can define the function k closest which will be having the points and the value k fine now here what i can do is that first of all let me extract the value of n which is nothing but the length of the points that we have because that many times i will make a for loop what is the value of x by the way here the value of x is nothing but as equals to what is the points so what you can do is that you can make one for loop for i in range until the value of i would say n we will iterate at each and every time we need to extract the value of x and the value of y so the value of x is nothing but points of i inside that the zeroth index right and y will be equals to points of i and in that we are saying the first index is equals to y perfect now what we want is that we want to create one min heap so what we can do here is that inside this function we can create one list which will be responsible to create to store those elements of the min heap so what we can do is that we can simply apply heap push inside that i want to push the min heap inside min heap i want to push two elements mainly one is the distance so this function will be responsible to calculate the distance i will define that function apart from that i will also store the points of i i think this is completely fine now right this is completely fine now so now here if you will observe we will be able to store the values of the min heap what are those values we are saying store the distance and the points now what we can do is that we can define the function which we have just called here get underscore distance otherwise obviously it will show the error so what we want is that we want to just return math dot square root what is the value of x square plus what is the value of y square i think this is pretty much fine to everyone okay now our min heap is created now what we want is that we want to display the result so the result is something which will be a list which will basically store the points which will be having a minimum distance so until how many times we want to make a for loop until k times right we want k closest closest elements and inside that we can call the function namely heap pop on what particular thing you want on min heap right min heap at the first index i want to display because i want only the points of i and i will append this inside the list so you can call this function named append simple and finally when once i will be out of the for loop i can simply return the result here right this is fine i think uh we are good to go let's try to see what are the things we are getting if there is some error we will try to resolve it at that instant itself perfect so here if you will observe when i am saying k is equals to 2 it is giving me the output as 3 comma 3 and minus 2 comma 4 this is what we are expecting right this is what we are expecting here so here if you will observe simply what we are trying to do here is that we have used one function so get distance function is responsible is basically helping us to calculate to give the euclidean distance so this is what you need to define because they have already mentioned 
that on what basis uh, the distance will be evaluated and after that the k closest will be simply helping us to find out the closest elements here if you will see this heap push function which we are directly using here is responsible to insert the elements inside the min heap and you all know sorry you all know that how basically the insertion will happen inside the min heap and similarly when i am doing a pop so this heap pop function is responsible to delete the elements from the min heap that's the important thing and the key takeaway that you need to take from this session how basically inside the min heap we can do the insertion as well as the deletion right and then you will be easily able to get the approach i hope approach wise it's, it's quite easy to understand so that is the overall idea behind finding out the k closest elements with the help of this approach now your assignment is to tell me that what should be the time complexity required to obtain this task because you know what is the time complexity to do the insertion you know what is the time complexity to do the uh, deletion so you should tell me what what do you think is the is the time complexity required or time complexity for this for the above for the below mentioned code let me know in the comment section i will for sure see the uh, answer of everyone and that answer will tell me that whether now you will be clearly able to understand this module of heap data structure or not because in this particular code i am using the insertion i am using the deletion i think everything i am using here it's a very good question i i would say so do let me know in the comment section and i hope that now the concept of heap data structure is pretty much clear to everyone so with this i would like to end this particular session i hope that you enjoy this complete series of heap data structure with this happy learning to all bye bye everyone see you soon in my next upcoming video